I planned my day properly. Uh, I went on time, but uh, there are some unexpected circumstances. I had to be delayed. Uh, so, so, sincere apologies for that once again. So, respected Ratra Prasad Garu, Principal, we are Siddhartha Engineering College. Respected Rajaya Garu, respected Pandra Garu Garu, respected Srinivas Garu, HR Department, uh, Civil Engineering, Vengdeshwala Garu, President Siddhartha Academy of General and Technical Education, Lakshman Prasad Garu, Secretary Siddhartha Academy of General and Technical Education, and my beloved students, a warm welcome and good morning to all of you. So, today, I'm happy to be here. Siddhartha Engineering College is organizing the second international conference on smart, sustainable cities in Vijayawada. And uh, I'm happy to note that there is participation from various sectors, from different colleges and uh, engineers from different streams and also from the faculty. So, you are aware that the government of India has taken up the Smart Cities program on a very, very serious uh, kind of a uh, initiative and one of the very ambitious kind of an initiative they have taken up. So, in Andhra Pradesh, currently we have Vaisak, Tirupati, Amaravati and Kakinada. These four cities have been selected under the Smart City program. Vijayawada is not selected in the Smart City program. Why? Because Amaravati was put into the Smart City program. And uh, though Amaravati Capital Region Development includes Vijayawada also, so in that, so Vijayawada was not uh, put as a Smart City uh, in that. So only, uh, currently we have about four cities enrolled in the Smart City program. Fine. What are the smart sustainable cities all about? So what do they uh, you know, do? So I recently attended a conference, you know, a conference where all the cities, all the smart cities came, participated and they shared what are their best practices that they are doing. The common underlining theme of all the projects which these smart cities take up is one and only to deliver the services to the citizen in an effective manner and to reduce the the whatever the agony and also the time taken for delivering the municipal services. Maybe it may be any kind of service, it may be water, electricity, or uh, even access to the roads, everything. So the efficient delivery is one very important component which all the cities have been focusing about. Number two, the very important thing, all the cities, smart cities, they have been focusing is the use of technology. In under the smart cities program, almost all the cities, all the cities have been mandated to develop an integrated command and control center. So, what does this command and control center mean? Okay. So, the idea of the control and command center is that. Now, gone are the days when a person has to go physically, he has to go inspect, you, uh, you know, any, anything, like basically suppose the condition of the roads, the littering that's happening on the roads, the progress of the works, the traffic management, everything. Now, earlier it used to be some person has to be there physically and the smart city is all aiming only to make the use of technology and make this monitoring effective and also, you know, taking decisions based on the data which they are going to get. Like, we have, we have been uh, shown a system uh, from Brazil. They have developed a system from Brazil. What does the system do? The system has got CC cameras as everyone we have. Under the data CC cameras are nice, so they also put the CC camera. But then, they went one step ahead. What is this? And that is what Smart City is all about. In the Brazil, in this city where they've introduced, the graffiti is a problem. So 
So what they do is they go and write in the walls about graffiti against the government. So CC cameras are there, but then you have to identify a person, and then you have to uh, uh, you have to it's a kind of a crime. So you have to stop them. So what they did is they mingled both artificial intelligence along with the CC camera. So what they've done is they developed a system wherein the system identifies in in all the vulnerable points they put to the CC camera. The system itself will identify whether any person is engaging in the graffiti. And then there is a speaker that is uh, a loudspeaker that will be there installed in all the places. Based on this input, the speaker uh, will announce that by be careful, or people are coming. If you want to take care of yourself, just leave, or else our people will take you and they will give you treatment. Right? <laughs> so, and this has happened, and the results are tremendous. One, it has eliminated the use of man. See, a lot of people have put CC cameras, you know, but as per the human standard, we cannot be able to continuously monitor. Suppose there are 170, uh, you know, uh, 170 cameras in installed. A human can effectively monitor about eight cameras in one screen. I mean, something is happening in one screen. So imagine for monitoring about 170 cameras, we require about 20 man hours so to sit and we have to see the camera continuously. So this smart city is taking up the next level of integrating artificial intelligence. So that now the entire man, man work is avoided. The system itself will take the decision and then it sends the data also that this is happening and it gives you alarm. Now, in Vijayawada, what we have done? In Vijayawada, we have done a project and in the project uh, of Smart City, so what we have done is they have uh, one stretch we have taken up, Pandar Road. What they have done is they have installed video cameras, we have installed CC cameras and we have given OFC cables and then we have got integrated video analytics with that. So what has happened? Suppose there is a traffic snarl, then there is a traffic that is accumulated at certain junctions. So the analytics of the, the we have utilized, I mean, utilized artificial intelligence, so it analyzes the data and then it, it sends the input stating that there is a the, the, that place there is a junction, there is a traffic problem is there. So there is no need for anybody to say, I mean, to monitor and say that uh, physical, I mean, manual interference is avoided. The system itself will tell. That system we are going to install very soon. And then, as a smart city initiative, we have uh, installed about, uh, in the street lights, what we have done. Uh, it's in the pilot phase we have done, not through all the cities, because we have got about 36,000 street lights, entire Vijayawada we have. On a pilot basis, we have taken about uh, 250 lights, where the intensity of the light and the light on and off, everything can be done through mobile, through a website. The website will be able to do it. So, why do we do all those things? You know, in earlier days, you were know, most knowing one person has to go, he has to go and switch on the light, and then what happens? As there is no proper time, area will be dark, crimes occur, all those things happen. So, smart city is aiming about only to deliver the services in an efficient manner, reducing the human interference and making the, the services accessible to, to the citizen in a better way. Having said that, having said that, we cannot just, you know, just pass on the glory of saying that, okay, we have put installed the CC cameras and all those things, unless and until we address the basic needs of the public. Unless and until I am not going to have a pothole free road, I am not going to have a, a drain that is not clogged. Unless I am going to have not uh, unless I am going to have a road that is clean, so I cannot claim myself to be smart. So smart city is a, I would say, let us say it's a it's a higher goal. But then to achieve that, certain basic standards we have to first fulfill. So that's what we are currently focusing upon. And then other cities, all the cities they have taken up in terms of smart city, what they are trying to do is that conserving the energy. Like in Pune, they have developed a model where they are using bicycle and bicycle sharing system. And what they have done is smart city, so they have put up separate uh, areas where the bicycles will be uh, stationed, there is a bicycle station. Any person who wants to go, he can go and take the cycle free. For the first half hour, you can go and take the cycle free. 
but then nobody will be able to take the cycle and go because uh, the GPS is monitored where the person takes the cycle, where everything is where everything is totally monitored. So why we have done this thing is that you know in cities now the CO2 emission is a big problem. Like in Vijayawada you can see in Bandar Road and Ben Circle, in the particular in Ben Circle area, in the heavy traffic, it will be too much of problem. So smart city is also aiming at conserving the energy using sustainable solutions. Not only giving a solution, it has to be sustainable. That's why I, I see the uh, theme as smart, sustainable city is very, very relevant. I, I like this word of sustainable. <coughs> yes, smart solutions we can put and it has to be sustainable. Why I am saying that? CC cameras have been installed from the last 10 years. But then, we don't have a sustainable solution. Why? Now, CC camera monitoring, one person should be there. Now, that person, if suppose somebody comes, they remove the person, all those things, if it is there, then the system goes for a task. You have to do regular maintenance. You have to have proper bandwidth. Everything should be there. Unless it is there, the system is not going to function properly. So, sustainability is a very, very important component in everything which you are going to develop under this smart city program. Right? Again, when it comes to the environment conservation, like in Vijayawada, if the city has to be sustainable, now we should have a proper mechanism of waste disposal. The smart city component is also one of the main important role. Like currently we are generating about 550 metric tons of garbage. Now, the current system which you are following, where we are going, taking the waste and dumping, it is not, it's totally unsustainable. How I am saying that? Last year, for our dump, we took a pit, a pit of about 150 feet depth and a pit of about 100 meters in diameter. Okay? And then, this pit has got I mean, it's, it's got subsumed, I mean, this, this, uh, we have consumed the pit and today the pit is filled and now it is pit, we have, we have created mounds along the pit. Because every day you imagine 550 metric tons of garbage are going and dumping. I cannot claim to be a smart city unless I have an effective solution to have a waste disposal. So what we are currently doing, now currently we, have, we are trying to focus on the segregation part, wherein about 50% of the waste we will be able to segregate from the uh, waste that is being generated, household waste that is going to be generated. And then we are trying to compost this waste in the city itself so that 50% of the load of dumping is avoided. And we have established a capacity for about 200 metric tons of processing facility we have created. First in the state we have done. We have, nobody has done it. Why? Because to claim as a smart city, the solutions and adapting the technology is the core concept that we have done and I require every one of your support in this endeavor. So what you have to do in your home, in your house, when our worker comes and they are asking you, when they are, uh, when you are going to give the garbage, please segregate the garbage into wet waste and dry waste and give it to them. You know what wet waste is, whatever is decomposable, vegetable, uh, fruit, food waste, all those things comes under wet waste, dry waste, any plastics, glass, iron, all those things come under dry waste. So segregate and give it to them, that will be helpful and you will be able to uh, 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 see proud in yourself that you have contributed for the development of the city. Right? And then, now coming to my last, uh, let us say, part. Uh, Vijayawada, yes, we have taken up initiatives to be smart, to look. First we have done is, to be smart, uh, there is a proud. You say, uh, man is being judged by his dress 50% under. And then there is a problem in Tamil, they say, Aal Padi, Aadai Padi under. And then, you dress a, you see a man and, and, and guess the man by his look, how smart he is, I mean, how neat he is dressed about. Suppose I come in, you know, come in a way, come in a casual way like this, and you will see, okay, what is this, is, I mean, why is coming in a casual way? But then, so similarly, my city has to look smart, isn't it? So what you have done? So we have put a lot of color on our city. You people have observed it? You have seen the paintings in our city? Looks good? City looks smart? Huh? <laughs> Government building, private also. They have objects, whoever is not object and putting. City is smart ga on the leda? We are going to get smart ga leda. Get together, Palamari. City looks colorful because first impression is the best impression. Suppose somebody comes to Vijayawada, like, I cannot claim to be a smart city, you know, having kind of dirty kind of walls, everything. I cannot say that, yeah, my city is what I come and have a room. People just laugh. 
by your basic this thing is your city is not clean, you are claiming to be smart. The last question. That's the reason we are focused on that and we have taken it very, very seriously. Not, it's not a kind of uh, just depicting the art or nothing like that. We wanted to send a message that my city is smart, my city is smart looking and this is the first step and I'm going to go leaps and bounds in the future to come. Right? So, once again, I thank the organizers of this second international conference on smart sustainable cities. You are a wonderful crowd and my apologies once again for being late and uh, I hope this conference uh, comes out with a lot of solutions which can be adaptable, which can be, uh, which can be used immediately for the development of our city and for the development of a smart, sustainable Vijayawada. Thank you. Thank you.